I started working with horses about the age of 10. I would volunteer at a barn, taking care of the horses and helping out the veterinarian that would visit the barn on a daily basis. So that was a great exposure to equine veterinary medicine at a very young age. I saw the importance of the human-animal bond, the freedom and joy that a horse can offer a person, but also how important we are for, for horses' well-being. And that is the place that I felt like I could help fill in gaps that weren't being met. It's often said that the eye is the window to the soul. I learned during my medicine residency that the eye is the indicator as to what's going on within the body, and that's very true with horses. We would see these horses come in with vision issues that could have been met or could have been solved with people that had the right skills and ability, um, but unfortunately, the treatment wasn't there at the time. Squamous cell carcinoma is the most common form of ocular neoplasia we see in the horse. Unfortunately, many horses lose their eyes to this type of cancer every day. One of my goals and desires and dreams of, of being here and being able to do research here at CSU was to find a better option versus a nucleation or eye removal for horses with squamous cell carcinoma. The goal of my research is to save horses' eyes. As an ophthalmologist, I oversee the whole practice in the ophthalmology service, so oversee students and residents that are, are on service at the time. We get to examine, treat, diagnose a variety of species, which makes the service quite unique in terms of the variety of things that we do. I wanted to be at CSU to use my skills, showcase my passion, and really move veterinary medicine forward. And it's here at CSU that we're allowed to do that through collaboration, inspiration from other people, and just support from the hospital.